few crashes behind me. You can hear the metal crunching. Um, and I was in a good position, but today's sprint finish is absolutely carnage. Um, as you can see at the moment, I'm right at the back of the peloton, two and a half laps to go. And uh, I haven't recorded the rest of the race. Well, I have, um, but it's boring because I'm at the back for the entire race. I'm racing on my own. This is two and a half laps and I need to move up in this race because at the moment I am so far out of position. That guy there, moving up on the right hand side, I was planning on joining him, but riders are coming out and trying to get on his wheel as well. And I'm not being funny, it was sketchy as hell when that was happening. Uh, Hillingdon, it's a tight course, a fantastic course, my favorite. But um, yeah, you have to have your wits about you on this course. Um, Cause see that gap straight in front of me there? It closes in the blink of an eye, gone, just like that. So yeah, if you're racing this course, uh, yeah, just make sure you're, uh, you're nice and alert. Also on this course, um, you can move up very quickly, but you can also get moved back very quickly. So back there, um, you may have noticed I did move up quite a bit, and all of a sudden, I'm at the back again. You get stuck behind a slower wheel here, um, and your, your whole effort you did to move up the peloton, you will just be at the back of it in a heartbeat. So coming around to this uh, number 70 in front of me, I kind of got stuck behind and uh, ended up the chicane area. You just need to be aware of people who may not have done the course before because um, it is two sharp corners and uh, some people pedal, some people don't. But if you're behind someone who's not pedaling, then again, you get drawn right back. Coming down here, this is the back straight going towards the, um, the clubhouse. Good, good straight, nice downhill, you get plenty of speed. People go up the inside because they want to be first around the U-bend at, at the bottom. And at this point I'm thinking, oh, I'm going to get around here and I'm going to have one lap left. So I really need to move on up now. Um, I'm still right near the back of the peloton and I was thinking this is just such a rubbish position. Coming down into this corner as well, on the right hand side, there was a little bit of dirt on the floor, a fair bit of it. And I was quite conscious of making sure I don't hit it. You could have just seen it back there. And uh, yeah, so we're coming into the first lap, last lap. And it is pretty fanned out at this point around that last corner coming into it. Um, and I'm thinking I need to get up to the front of the peloton. So remember the last lap, some guy went up. This guy from Kingston Wheelers went on the outside. I thought, right, I just need to glue myself to his wheel and get to the front of this peloton. Otherwise, I stand no chance of getting around anyone in the last lap. That guy there goes, nice pink socks, sir. And uh, round I come, a big effort, 800 watts, just to try and get myself around everyone. Now, I was too far forward at this point. So I wanted to drop back a bit, maybe to be like third or fourth wheel. Um, that guy comes around me, so I was quite happy because I wasn't leading out the peloton. And uh, now tensions are high. Guy in the red, he's bombing it as if he's kind of doing a last lap bomb. And again, I come to this rider here in front of me and what happens? I get stuck behind him and everyone is coming around on the left hand side. And I'm thinking, oh no, I'm losing all these positions again. Um, I'm getting brought back, what a nightmare. But I need to get to the front. So as we come around here, you'll see uh, number 150. Uh, he's taking it quite slow. Oh, and you hear that guy saying 150, really? Because uh, we're all trying to get to the front and uh, we get stuck behind someone and it's just, a, it's just um, one of them courses. So there's a bit of an inside line there. Um, a rider comes around me and I'm thinking, right, he is my man to lead me out. So I hop onto his wheel, coming down here, coming into the last two corners. There's a gap on the right. Now you've got to be careful because people love to dive bomb this last corner. And uh, bang, there goes someone on the way on the inside. I'm aware of that dirt still, so I lose a wheel. Um, so I need to make a bit of a big effort coming up here. And uh, yeah, this is a sprint from how this is. Um, you can see in the rear cam a few riders behind me. We're unleashing. I try and get back up to, um, I think it's Tanvir his name. Gap, a few crashes behind me. You can hear the metal crunching. Um, and I was in a good position, but when I was hearing that, I was thinking, oh my God. But look, we get over the line safe. And I managed seventh, so I was pleased with that. But um, 
having all that carbon coming down behind me was like scaffolding for a falling and it was so off-putting that I couldn't like fully commit to the sprint I think I was about five or six hundred watts um, and when you're doing 42 mile an hour and you can hear all of that carnage behind you um, yeah it was quite it was quite scary um, and I was just kind of more conscious of going in a complete straight line so that nothing else happens because it was like in my ear anyway we live to race another day I wish everyone else um, a speedy recovery when you're doing 42 mile an hour it is not the way to be uh, to, to finish a race but um, but yeah anyway bring on the rest of the races feel free to subscribe like the channel and uh, follow me on Instagram um, and anywhere else